one of the gigs that I was trying to get for a while for Marvel was uh, the Iron Man book to do the covers for that, but I knew that I wouldn't be happy if I wasn't doing specifically an armor I was particularly taken with. And I would have been perfectly fine with doing the one I grew up with, the one that existed from like the mid 60s all the way up through even to the mid 80s. It's kind of the classic yellow and gold, or gold and red uh, version that has you know, simple details to it, but depending upon your rendering, I thought you can make that really sing. I didn't think it needed too much over embellishment, but in case you needed these extra layers of details, I had my own version of that that would sort of seem to be a combination of the way he was classically and with this sort of extra detail element that's kind of akin to what we see in a lot of the movies, but it was my own spin that was slightly different. I um, I wanted to do the reverse of how a lot of the designs by other artists have amplified the uh, red pieces of the armor as if it were like um, additional shell pieces of protection. Like so, if he's got this red band here that used to be just a simple ring, now it should be a whole shoulder covering. And to me that started to downgrade the impact of the gold on his body, the gold that's on his arms and his legs. And I wanted those elements to seem to protrude more, to sort of give you the sense of a huskiness to the frame. So if I reversed it where it's actually almost like the red is the undersuit beneath everything and the gold is this additional protective layer that it gives you this sense of bulk for that frame that now makes you feel that the gold is not, it's not the equivalent of just a guy wearing a sort of tank top red and shorts over bare legs and arms, it's actually that the gold is this really um, shield-like layer that would protect him that much more from impact. And, uh, and so I did up this design a couple of years ago and uh, shot it across the bow, and at the time they told me that, you know, they were gonna reflect back upon one of the designs that had been done within the last 20 years and that ran for a storyline run that ran its course and now my turn came up so um, as it works out actually the writer of the new book was looking for just that classic design that I wanted to do initially and they've kind of forced my design on him as a sort of compromise of like what well, this is this is close enough so I'm embracing the moment of okay here's my sort of redesign, but really trying to make you believe in that original, simple look of the body shape. One of the things I've gotten a chance to stretch my legs with, because there was nobody else to do it when I was initially pitching my own comics ideas and storylines, was logo design. And I don't feel that's separated so much from the regular art of illustration that basically the entirety of a package is what you want to impact people visually. So given that a logo is going to take up so much space on top of the artwork facing the public, you need that to read the way you want it to come across, emotionally, aesthetically. I just had a couple of uh, gigs recently I got to do with Iron Man where I did some variant covers for them that they allowed me to do, not just say what I've normally done, which is classic 60s to 80s style Iron Man armor that's the most popular, well-known version of him, but also my own kind of spin on it where I always thought, hey, if the gig ever comes around where I could redesign him, what would it look like? It 
With Captain America and Iron Man, I was introduced to them basically at the same time, and one of the ways that I was seeing them was as a duo because they shared a comic book that was at least published when I was a kid called Marvel Double Feature. And it was just a reprint comic book, but I don't know from reprints when I'm a little six-year-old. And I love this comic of the juxtaposition of the two of them as kind of a buddy cop team was never what the stories illustrated, but that's what I put in my mind. The idea that those guys are a, a pair. They are the kind of good and well, good and good sides of the Marvel Universe, but they are kind of the two leaders, the two thinkers of the Marvel Universe in a way. And I try to illustrate my passion for them in a way whenever I I illustrate their, their grandiosity, the bulk that both men have, and that I expect these costumes to be very impressive if you were to see them in person. That's the thing I always feel is that these are not silly looking people. If you were to see them walk into the room, you go, holy cow.